Hey guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Moto G5 Plus. So let's get started. So guys, in case you know, I also have a Moto G5 Potter, which is one of the best motor devices which I've used. Official updates are thinning out and it might be time for a lot of people to go into custom ROM. So let's get started. Now, first of all, this is Omni ROM. Let's get started. First of all, what you see here is the admin display. Yes, I have enabled admin display. No, it is not an OLED screen, but it doesn't matter. It is pretty cool. This is the launcher with which it comes. Works decently well as a launcher. It has the clear all swipe button from reason, which works really well. I like that. That's what the settings menu in the settings menu in the about phone page you can see that this is the version i'm using it is the xt1686 that is a moto g5 i have this is the indian version if you are having some other devices it should work for all moto g5 plus just unlocking the bootloader and getting a stock version on it is the most challenging part so apart from that uh, let's get started this is android 9.0 july security patches uh, in about two days there will be a new update for it i have been updating it for about a month now and uh, there are delta updates and and it just works wonderfully well. SNS status is enforcing, which is interesting. Omni ROM, if you don't know, is one of the prime ROMs available for any device, and it just works really well. I'm really happy about it. As you can see, I am on Geo, and it just works. The HD capable is available. You will need to do something about this uh, library, though. You will have to use a root application to remove it. Other than that, everything is gravy. DLT is working. Uh, SIM swap is working. I did use two SIM card on this device. Works exceptionally well. No issues there. Now let's get to the extra features now OmniRom isn't known about the features but it does have a few interesting ones first of all style options are available you do have Omni themes but you do have customization for the themes of it so you can have accent colors from one of these options definitely an interesting feature primary colors can also be customized which is actually pretty cool so you can have it to be black pitch black warm white white all that is available which is really interesting you can customize it from there and also notification can be customized other than from the primary color you want light notification with dark theme kind of like how oneplus dark theme works it works really well for that and also it has the can theme options for it. i'm actually using 00 right now which does work out really well you can have a darkness meister all of that is available which is really interesting it does also have an omni wallpaper feature you can go online and see what all op options are available there are a lot of options here for customization which comes to when it comes to styles and theming it also has the header option so it will change the headers and you can select which one you want to use and it will customize it to your usage i don't use headers but it is available and the buttons options you do have music control that is the volume button music control is available navigation bar can be enabled which is also cool there is also gesture navigation using the fingerprint scanner on the front which is really nice i really liked it it works exceptionally well so if you want to use that and just disable navigation bar you can do that power button advanced restart is available recent style can be customized to pi option or omni switch which is available long press the power button for flashlight is available but i can be disabling this one because well it does have omni action which I will get to in the later section. In the bars option, you do have options for network graphic indicator. As you can see, network graphic indicator on Omni ROM is different from other AOSP based ROM. I like this one a lot because it blends in better and it utilizes unused space. So I'm really happy with that. Quick setting opacity can be customized. Old style mobile type icons can be enabled. Double type of sleep on the saddle bar is available and also quick pull down is available. Now you can also enable arrows while typing. So that is also pretty interesting. So it is pretty cool if you want to have arrows for finer control of things. If you are not the best typist out there. In the last two options, you do have weather conditions. You can enable that, so that's pretty cool. A double tap on the lock screen to sleep is available. Media wallpaper can be disabled. Auto unlock is available if you're someone who uses the Google Face Unlock feature, which does work out. In the gesture options, you do also have the navigation gestures. Now, if you are someone who's coming from something like OnePlus devices, it will work really well. I'm really happy with that. Not the most useful uh, because there are obviously a few things missing. On a device like this, I would rather use the fingerprint scanner gestures for navigation rather than this one but this is available for those who use multiple devices and all that led settings are also available and actually you can use the led options which is really cool which is already a really big improvement from stock settings because uh, normal stock settings does not allow you to use uh, led hopefully you can see the white led there now i couldn't actually unlock various colors for the led i'm sure it is available with some sort of kernel but i didn't bother too much into that led options are unlocked you can use led now and the weather options 
options it does have omni weathers which does work out really well so you do have options for that you can also use a key for it but it is not necessary from what i understand icon pack is also available if you want to use that there are packs available on google play store if you want the specific ones dialer options you do have vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and also vibrate on disconnect now the fingerprint option you can enable to disable the authentication vibration which is pretty cool system ui tuner you can customize what all stuff is in the uh, status bar you can have the brightness slider at the bottom brightness mode switcher can be enabled uh, show brightness side buttons available one thing which i really liked about omni rom is that uh, the auto brightness toggle is on the area where usually user switch is available i found that to be pretty interesting so it is available and uh, pretty cool but these are the icons which are available out of the box you have a location you have caffeine you have adb over network weather is available nfc toggle is available all of these are available and also you can customize the rows and columns of it quick bar column can also be customized which is really interesting and then the status bar options also you can enable or disable the number of icons there you can also hide the disabled sim card which is really cool i really like that because i usually have a sim card which i just disable in network settings i do not want that in the status bar so that is really cool now if you are someone who uses nav bar you do have options to customize that there is an editor available for it and you can add application add buttons and all that it works decently well now lost in options are also available you can customize the shortcuts you have the battery percentage show charging watch show charging current show battery temperature and also all of that options are available you have a lot of it i just want to show you guys how it looks so as you can see uh, it is showing percentage how it is charging it is charging rapidly because i have the turbo charger connected it is showing the wattage it's showing the milliamps and all that it is really cool to see the information it works really well so that's it in the system ui tour in the more options you do have column layout which is really cool for the settings menu which i'll be showing now show cpu info is available if you want to see how the cpu is working network connectivity check is available disable recent app limit is available if you want unlimited one but on a device like this with three gigs of ram i don't really recommend using that and this is the column layout which is available which is really cool everything is so much more accessible with this one so that is it in the omni gear settings where most of the extra features are apart from that in the display options you can see that adaptive brightness is available night light is available which is pretty interesting display sizes font size can be customized the advanced options you do have ambient display options where you have new notification you can enable that a device theme can also be customized if you want the application such as google applications to have dark mode now the battery options you can enable battery percentage for status bar all that is available which is pretty neat now it also comes with digital well-being which does work decently well so it's pretty cool this is what i really like about this device because it does have more to actions in a custom rom because it is so much better so as you can see device gestures are available chop chop for flashlight and that is got to be the best option to enable flashlight on the device and it is really cool uh, also double twist for camera is available you can use that wait to silence is available pick up to stop ringing is available all of the options which are available with stock moto os is available with this one so that's really cool admin display options for pickup and hand wave is also available which is really cool it's something which i take for granted on many of my devices but you only know about this if you start missing it fingerprint gestures are also available which is the one which i was talking about you do have options for all of these one so you can have swipe left for back button swipe right for recent button and that works really well so as you can see i'm swiping right for this one swiping left for back it works really well if you want the full screen real estate and want the navigation gestures to be handled by the fingerprint scanner it works really well and i'm really happy about it you can also have the single tap option for home button and also double tap for screen on and off and it works really well so i'm really happy with that i'm not really sure if i should be so excited about this one because it is one of those feature which is really really cool once you start using it now it also has actions with the screen off it has to have the fingerprint unlock disabled to use these options but i mean fingerprint unlock is so much important for me as a device so i just use that and i don't really care about these options but if you don't use fingerprint options you can actually use these options when the screen is off with the fingerprint scanner and you can have all the options available there it also has the screen off gestures which is really interesting personally i don't use it so much it doesn't have all the extra functions like the o and m options which are available with one plus devices only has the swipe left swipe right and all that which is very easy to trigger whenever you don't want it to trigger so i don't want that but it is available now in the system options you do have gestures so double tapping on the power button does work out and it also has an ot updater which is really cool now i have done like three updates now 
first update wasn't a delta update but the second update was a delta update the third update was also not a delta update i'm not really sure how the delta update is carried out i believe it needs to have the zip file of the previous update on the device for delta update to work because it needs to splice it up so yeah that is something which i noticed but delta update is available ot updates are so much more important on a device like this which i believe is not going to be used by a lot of technophiles but still want to be updated and that is pretty much it in the extra features of this rom as you can see there are a lot of features like for a device which i don't consider as a power device it does work out really well and it actually breathes a new life into the device feature wise it's pretty cool now the battle life of the rom the battle life of the rom is pretty good active drain is nothing to be impressed about i was getting about 16 to 17 percent of active drain which honestly is not very good for about a 3000 milliamp battery on a device which is two years old but still nothing to be ashamed of the idle drain was pretty good i was getting about 1.2 to 1.3 percentage which is pretty good i mean for a device like this i would consider anything below 1.5 percentage to be very good so i was getting about 1.3 at the max so i'm happy with it i have been using this device as my secondary device for a long time now it just works really well now the performance of the device this is not a performance centric device i'm getting about 80,000 from my multiple runs which i've done from what i understand the stock os which was based on oreo was giving me about 76 to 77,000. so it is definitely an improvement but that can be attributed to the newer android version i did try pubg mobile Lite. that is pretty much what you can expect it is not going to play pubg full version at full spec it's not something you should be expecting i'm really happy with how it's playing out with the pubg Lite option it works really well i'm happy with it it is pretty smooth it's not going to be 60 fps or 30 fps even mid 20s is what you can expect with that so as you can see this is the pubg Lite experience Again, not the most smoothest because, well, this is not the most performance heavy phone either. But on a device like this with Snapdragon 625, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this one. You can get mid 20s when there is nothing going on and low 20s when there is a lot of action. I'm really happy with it though. Now the stability of the ROM. The stability of the ROM is rock solid. I mean, I don't have anything else to say about it. It works really, really well. Every option works. I didn't have any crashes. I didn't have any outright restart. I did have one issue where I was updating the device and after the update the device was just shutting off. I'm going to attribute that to the update process. I have never seen that in that regard. It is what it is. For the most part, it's really stable. Now the camera. It comes with uh, the snap camera option which is available which works decently well. It's fine but there is also Gcam which is available for our device which is really really cool. I've been taking a lot of photographs with Gcam. These are all photos which I took with Gcam on this device and uh, as you can see it's pretty good the one which i'm using a link in the description below you can check out the forums for yourself if you want to it is available now the aesthetics of the rom omni rom has a very good aesthetic i like it because it works really well it has a style which makes me want to use it it has the canned styles and all that and also it does have a pretty good options available there are better options available out there so i'm not going to say it is the best one but for the most part it's pretty good now the overall experience of using the rom i believe this is probably one of the best roms available for the Moto G5 Plus. At the end of the life cycle for this device, this does actually breathe a new life into this. And I'm really happy about that. It just works really well. Recommended. It. It's really cool. Now let me show you guys the boot animation. If you know what Omni boot animation is, well, it is available and it is just that. So there is the Omni boot animation for our device and uh, well, it is the Omni boot animation, nothing special. It is what it is, it works really well, so yeah. So I guess that much is it about the video then. The camera is getting a little bit too hot, so I have to wrap it up now. Closing thoughts, Omni ROM, really good. If you want to have a daily driver ROM which works really well with OTA updates and uh, just playing good, go for it, it's really cool. May not have all the features which are available for this device for the most part, but I mean, it is a damn good ROM, so I'm really happy with that. I guess I'm interested about the ROM. Then, if you guys like the video, please share, subscribe, and like the video if you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.